Hey everyone, it's Greg Flyshaker, Greg Fly to my friends, and today's video is going to walk you through a small glass studio that I found uh, around the Atlanta area that's letting me rent time, uh, and they're letting me blow my myself, which is uh, hard to find, but um, just walk you through the studio real quickly. They have a couple pieces of equipment from his glassworks. There's a saw, a lap grinder, um, some more equipment there. Most of the equipment's gonna be from canned heat glass and mobile glass blowing studio. So this bench was from canned heat. Those knockoff canisters, the pipe knockoffs there were from mobile glass blowing. That bench, I'm sorry, that marver is from mobile. And then that top loader uh, is just a, um, I think it's L&L, &L. it's a ceramic kiln top loader. And then this front loader was from canned heat, but I'm not sure they carry this anymore. Uh, maybe it's a little bit older before they changed up their their website and the studio runs on propane and they have it set up with those are 240 pound tanks which refers to the weight of the tank without gas that is the cullet that they use that is clear kugler and then this is the setup from the the main piece of the studio which is the canned heat I think they call it the hot pot or the hobby and then um, I think yeah I think hot pot's right and then that stand and the fan that is all set up to help get rid of some of the heat and some of the fumes and then we'll get back and look at the hot pot it's loaded up with the Cougar clear which is from hot glass color I think they are the prime supplier of Kugler, if I'm not mistaken so they're looking inside you can see the burner head um, and then a pipe cooler there also from canned heat and the hot pot comes that little side arm is to put your pipes and putties up to, to kind of warm up and then that is a cane pulling stand from mobile glass blowing studios I think that was a custom job but those guys might guys being generic ladies and guys might uh, still have uh, the plans and they might make it but here we go so to, to fire this up Open up both of your propane tanks in this setup. I guess you could run it off one, but they just have two smaller tanks, so they tied them into each other. So that just pressurized the gas line. That that fan that they just turned on, or actually I turned on, that's the exhaust fan. So we get that going. That was the hood up top. And now for the canned heat hot pot, you turn that on. That button is going to be that blower. And the way they have it set up, you can't turn on the gas unless the blower is going. So there's a solenoid valve, so you can feel the air coming through. There's a solenoid valve that detects air coming through, and if there's no air, there you go, in the green up top, and then there's no gas. So that little safety feature there. So to get it started, get your torch, open your gas line, and you just fire right there. And that'll catch if you have your air and gas set properly. Um, the people, the, the studio, it took them a little while to figure it out, but uh, I think we just, I just fired it up at 10.30. It's been running for half an hour now. You can see it's starting to glow and the glass is starting to get a little soft and starting to slump down there into that little crucible. I believe that's a 40 pound crucible. You'll have to ask the people out at Canned Heat, but I'm pretty sure in the, um, I've put color away for the day, so top loader, I'm going to pull a little bit of cane, pick up some color, and the front loader, put away color, it's hard to see the temperature there, but um, it looks like it's just over 100, just got it in there and turned it on. So I'm going to do a couple of little cane pickups, just roll them up right off that, that cane marver. And then there's another little piece from canned heat, chopping color, bars and or Kane and Murini. And then I just wanted to show you real quickly, this is the uh, largest piece I've done so far out of this hot pot. Uh, nothing fantastic. I just wanted to see how big I could get and that was pulling some, uh, some of the glass out of the bottom of the pot one day. And then it's been an hour now, so 11.30 in the morning. You can see the glass is starting to flatten out. It's not really workable yet. And I'm looking to see if there are any flames coming out of the front. Really let me know uh, how my mixture is, if I need more gas or less gas, if there's a lot. There, that's what you would use, the fine tuning. And now it has been 
an hour and a half. And uh, I'll try to take a gather real quickly. It's hard to see. I'll try to take a gather with one hand while I'm doing a little filming here. I haven't used this studio very much yet, but it, it seems that um, about an hour and a half you can get the top layer of glass off. So you can do something that doesn't require a lot of glass. The glass under that is not yet fully up to temperature. So you can see you just reach right in there and get a little gather. All right, so it's it's a little thick, but um, it, it works. So it's been 1230, two hours. And that's just a little color, a little dirt in there from a previous day. And I was able to get a color pull done just using color. So I haven't used much clear to our in the glass is now pretty good um, for most anything you want to do. I wouldn't do a huge piece yet. And you can see there's some flame coming out of the front. So maybe turn it down just a smidge get that flame back in and I, I think that's that is a little bit after four right so it, it's a little hot maybe I uh, need to learn how to turn that down but you can see the glass was almost empty I'm just emptying it out right there you don't want to leave a lot of uh, clear glass in there so just when you're done turn it off turn the gas I turn the gas off first and let anything bleed out through the gas line turn the gas line off but leave the blower on and then I also leave the big blower of the hood on as well for about an hour just to let things cool off without the heat traveling back up into the burner head. So um, not a huge day, not a full day really, but you know you can get some stuff done. A couple color pools, it looks like a few cups, pumpkins, a couple of ornaments in there. Um, and that, that's working by myself and I, I'm pretty sure I probably dropped a couple pieces because I am limited by my skill and not the studio.